Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, Leala. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System. Let's take a look at your situation. So you've been in the U.S. for nine months. You've taken the TOEFL test five times. Your highest score is 55. You say, please, please, please help me. After three months, my scholarship will finish. If I do not get a 90 in the TOEFL, my government will return me to my country. I feel like my dream will stop. I study hard from the Ingram book and Barron's and ETS. I also study from Noteful.com, but I did not do good. I would say well there, not good. Use adverbs after regular verbs. So when I saw your website, I feel some happiness. Another thing, I study in English school in East Lansing in Michigan, but it does not work with me. <coughs> Please help me what I should do. Now here's, I'm going to be honest with you here. Okay, so you've used a lot of TOEFL pre preparation books. All of them seem to be good books. Barron's, I've heard of that ETS that has TOEFL level reading and listening and speaking and writing practice tests using the Ingnam book. I'm not sure of that one. I haven't heard of that. But I've heard of Noteful.com. So that's a great website. I've heard a lot of good comments from many students and you're even attending an intensive English program and you're not getting better. So my question is, what's going on? I mean, to me, I mean, I don't know how I can be any different from anybody else. I mean, I have a great website. I have over 630 lessons, but it comes to you. It's your responsibility. If you're attending an intensive English program and you're not getting better, I, I don't understand that. Because intensive English programs, they have writing and reading assignments, they have all kinds of homework, they have conversation classes and listening and everything else. I mean, it's got to go back to you. It is your responsibility to make use of the information you're getting and use that to advance your academic English proficiency. So, if you're using TOEFL books, and that doesn't help, if you're using the Noteful.com, which I think is a pretty good website, if that's not working, if you're using an intensive English program and that's not working, I, I don't know what to tell you other than it takes hard work. There's really three things that you have to do to learn a language to advance your academic English proficiency, uh, Liala. Number one, you got to practice. I can't force you. Your intensive English program is not going to force you. Your TOEFL books certainly are not going to force you to do anything. Noteful is not going to. You have to do that from your own heart. Not because of your scholarship. You want to do it because you're genuinely interested in learning the language. So you have to look at your own motivation. Why do you want to study English? Right? So number two is you have to practice and you have to have motivation. And then you have to practice over an extended period of time to get those results. You see what I'm saying? So, I have a really good website. However, uh, you have to be motivated and use my lessons and my courses because if you don't post your pronunciation, speaking, or writing practice tests, then there's no way for me to score them and give you feedback. It ultimately it lies on you. So, to conclude this particular video, I think you want to take a long look in the mirror and ask yourself what your goals are, what you want to do, and once you figure out what you want, you should be able to make progress because I think it's not because of Noteful, it's not because of your intensive English program or your TOEFL materials, that's not the reason that you're not learning. There seems to be some other reason that I'm not getting from your message that might be preventing you from learning the way that you need to. Alright, anyway, thank you very much for your comments. I'd love to have you as a student, but remember that you have to be serious, you have to be a really hard worker, and you can make the results, you can get results that you seek, but if you want to go from 55 to 90, you're looking at at least, not three months, you're probably looking at five or six months before you can reach that goal. That assumes that you work really, really hard. If you don't work hard, it could take you over a year for you to reach that goal. You may never reach that goal. So it really must come from your heart. Think about it that way. Now, uh, Liela, I will put in this YouTube video, I will give you a link to my 90-day TOEFL study guide so you can take a look at it 
and you can see what lessons I have there to kind of help you. And the main thing for you is you need a really, really a lot of emphasis with your vocabulary study right now. That's going to be very, very important in helping you improve your overall score. All right, so again, in the description box of this YouTube video, Leala, you will see a link to my 90-day 90, 90 TOEFL study guide.